Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we will be reviewing a figure from Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Kingdoms, and it's Huffer. Before we look at Huffer himself, we're going to look at the packaging. Got some nice artwork of Huffer. And he is a deluxe classic. Classic deluxe. And in so many other words, I don't understand. Um, Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom. Takara Tomy Generations Huffer. Autobot insignia and a nice shot of the golden disc There's even a golden disc on the uh, Insert in the box. I'm going to show that off too because that is pretty sweet so I can get it out But look there we got some images of the golden disc and golden packaging That's pretty cool By my standards Let's put this back in the box, uh, like so. If I can get it in there, come on. Come on, man, back in there. And that's almost all there is to say for the packaging. Nice product shot of Huffer in robot mode. He's got a shotgun and a shield. Very nice. If I do say so myself and I dig this figure I didn't pick this up when it first came out but I picked it up finally and I'm so glad to have it and he transforms in 14 steps that's pretty good if I do say so myself that's all there is to say for the packaging even comes with an instruction manual probably put that back in the box Because I've memorized this transformation. I don't need the instructions. I really don't. I am just that good with my memory. All right. Let's get down to transformation. We're going to take off the shield and the gun. Oh, wait. The shield and the gun. Sorry. Correction moment, the shield and the gun become part of his vehicle mode. But that's all it does. Does he roll? Like rolling things should? Yes. And he is compatible with Optimus Prime's trailer. Which is nice, if I do say so myself. But now, we're going to look at the vehicle mode, see all the details. And the details are very nice. I love it. Looking really nice. I just dig it. But that's all there is to say for the vehicle mode. It looks just like the G1 vehicle mode for Huffer. But now we're going to get down to transformation. First, we're going to lower the legs down. Flip these panels down. Split the legs. Now we're going to work on the uh, cab section. We're going to pull this up. Rotate the wheels in. Accordion the arms up. Connect the backpack. Sometimes it comes loose if you're not careful. And straighten out the arms. And it looks pretty cool. Looks like he stepped right out of the G1 cartoon. It, it was way before my time, but I absolutely dig this Huffer. And he looks just like it, like G1 Huffer. I probably got the, uh, G1, I got the G1 series on DVD. Sorry if I had to correct it. Because I watched originally a VHS tape back in the mid-2000s. But I love this Huffer. He's my favorite. But now we're going to give him his weapon. His weapon and his shield. 
This arm holds the gun. Go pew pew, bang bang, with that. And he gets an arm shield. That is pretty awesome. If I do say so myself. But why do they have to give him an arm shield? What is he supposed to be? Huff America? <laughs> That's a joke to my uh, YouTube fans because they literally gave him a shield. Let's see. A rip off of a Captain America shield. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> and the shield has these claws so you'd be like, Sort of like Wolverine claws? <laughs> What's it supposed to be? Wolverine? Couple marble jokes. Couldn't help it. Is he worth adding to your collection if you're a Transformers enthusiast? Yes. War for Cybertron's Kingdom nailed Huffer. It is better than Power Core Combiner's Huffer and... Beast Hunter's Huffer, because this one is better than even the Combiner Wars Huffer. Because this represents the G1 continuity. And I love it. I'd highly recommend picking him up. That's all there is to say for this review. If you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out.